first sense. Elena Rivakina Chisou. Ready, play. Fold. Fold. Love, 15. Let fifteen. Well, we're joined by Daniela Huntakova. Daniela, it's a big serve, and we know that she can send them down for long periods in the match. She's going to need that big time tonight because she's facing one of the all time best 15. returns in the game, and especially the one out wide. I feel like Rika is always covering a little bit more the one up the middle, knowing that that's not her biggest strength, the forehand, even though she's improved so much. Wow. Okay. Awful bonus. <laughs> well, as we expected, a promising start for First game. the Wimbledon champion. Well, courtside, it's a very good evening to Jill Krabus. How's Hello the atmosphere? Everybody. How's the atmosphere <laughs> and courtside? How's the feel? How's the vibe? Yeah, it's a great feel. There's a lot of people in the stands. It's a great atmosphere. The, the roof was closed actually before the players came out. And as soon as the roof opened, you could feel the nice, cool breeze. It is a little bit windy, as Laura mentioned. So there is that slight breeze. It's not a huge breeze, so I don't think it'll affect play that much. But it is it is pretty cool out here, but really nice conditions for the players. But it's 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 this is going to be a battle. I think we just saw an indication of what's going to happen with Rabakina. I mean, that game was only one minute long, went by so fast. So Azarenka is going to have to try and get a read on that serve if she can. She's one of the best returners in the game. So I think the contrast of having one of the best servers and one of the best returners, this is going to be a great match to watch courtside. All right, win predictor. 58% for Rebecca. Wind predict is sitting on the fence today. Yeah. Very much. 58. As we all are. No, no, we're going Rebecca. <laughs> oh, we're brave here. <laughs> yeah. You forced me into that, Josh. No, no, no. 15. Love. Did I, I miss something no, here? No, no, we, we, we all feel that Elena just has, uh, I think, too much firepower. Yep. And I think you'd possibly agree. So the freshness in her legs, maybe? Azarenka looks as fit as I've ever seen her, though. She's put on a, a little bit of muscle compared to about 18 months ago, and I think that's showing in the weight of shot that she's been able to hit over the last kind of six weeks or so since I first saw her again. Towards the end of last year, she was picking up the pace. Yeah. What be, what's been so great to see from Vika, though, is those higher, slower balls that we haven't seen for almost 20 years. So definitely a lot of improvement as far as her variety goes, which is cool to see when champions like her are still willing to add new things to their game. It does return so beautifully, Rabaikana. Just such long levers. It's very difficult to serve it out of her strike hitting zone. Well, especially the back in return, that's where Vika has to stay away from that second serve, kick serve, because 
Ribakina just uh, going to be all over that all day long. It's just a little bit more, more on the ball. Ribakina has compared to Vika. Deuce. And even though the forehand is quite predictable, Vika knows she's coming in here on the cross court. She still doesn't have the speed to get there on time. Even though, as Laura said, she is much, much fitter these days. Advantage. Just 144 kilometers an hour, but it's the placement. I think she plays a lot of her rally balls off the forehand side One back cross court. She rarely opens up line unless she's got a lot of time and it's a, a relatively short ball. So I think for Azarenka, just with her movement patterns, if she can close that down a bit, it's going to put the pressure on. And that's why Elena missed that last forehand because Vika was literally standing in that corner and she had the entire back inside open and still went cross court. No nerves, just such freedom with this backhand, so aggressive. Can't hit it any better than this. <laughs> Even when you know it's coming, there's not much you can do about it. So another clean service game from the 22nd seed, Rabakana in front, 2-1. Original nine, front row. It's a lot of pressure to play in front of <laughs> that crowd. If you look up and 
see Billie Jean King and, and you're not inspired, then I don't know what Love will get you going. 100%. Combined with Rod Laver. <laughs> Defense there from Pika. Such a heavy ball. ball. Like you said, Laura, even though everyone knows where Rybakina is going to approach, it's still so hard to do anything about it because it's so heavy. from Azarenka has really improved as the tournament's gone on. She struggled with it a lot in the first set against Madison Keys a couple of rounds ago where it was a windy evening and she was just not getting enough pace through the second serve, enough topspin over the top of the ball. Fold. Started very well by players, and we're on serve two all. Two games all for set. I think. Laura, it's fair, fair to say these conditions right about now are, are ideal for Azarenka. But as the night goes on, we saw that against Julin where it got a bit heavier and slower and that was harder for her. But I think right now these conditions are perfect. Yeah, she didn't enjoy when the conditions became a little cooler and she wasn't getting as much pace through the shot because of the balls not soaking up that heat anymore. I think she seemed to adjust really well in the next match against Pagula, though. And just to have that extra power from her opponent coming onto her racket seemed to help a lot. And she's going to have that tonight. That's what Vika wants, get Ribakina on the run outside of the court on the forehand side. That's where she's least comfortable, Elena. First mini chance. <laughs> Closed straight away. Thirty. Oh. That's what I mean on the big points. Because got to try to cover the backhand side because she's ready for the forehand return a little bit more. <laughs> yep, she was ready that time. Well, there's that T serve that Rybakina played a lot of in their previous match Thirty last year. Osirenko definitely noticing the pattern.
gets the break. Azarenka. And what a point. From both players, but particularly Azarenka. Incredible, and she's done so well. Rybakina wanting to rush her, just absorbing that power and uh, being solid. And uh, yeah. Thank you, ladies I think she couldn't ask for a better start than this. That's where the experience plays a big role in a match like tonight. Let's first off. Again, Azarenka just enjoying the pace coming onto her racket. She just doesn't seem flustered at all. When it's deep, she's able to move back half a step, get back on the baseline straight away. Azarenka hasn't won a, a tournament in some time, but we take a look at the, the top spin speed on that forehand. Big, big difference. A pretty big difference off both sides, really. Legs for some. Right there, the firepower of Rabakina. Also, much better depth there on the forehand. This one here didn't allow Vika to step in. So, even though she's very predictable going cross court when she's pushed out wide, Rabakina, she has to find a way to hit it with a lot of depth. Fold. Just caught the back edge of the line. Azarenka's not entirely convinced. It seemed like she was almost waiting for the out call, actually. Yep. She, she was convinced it was long. Ms. Azarenka is requesting a review of the call well, on her right. Not much she can do. <laughs> She's done this a lot throughout the, the tournament, has questioned Hawkeye or the electronic line calling. Not as much as Ostapenko, though. I think we've got a clear <laughs> no, no, one, no one in the tournament's questioned it as much as Ostapenko. But you would think at this stage of the tournament, they would kind of get used to it that you know there's just one way <laughs> the outcome's gonna come. All right. Thank you. Oh, 
Immediately gets the break back. 22nd seed. Elena Ravakina levels this first set. Three game games all. Not Azarenka just under so much pressure off the second serve. She's at 74% first serves at the moment, so it's not been too noticeable. But as soon as Ravakina is able to get a full hand strike on the second serve return, it's very hard to get yourself back in the point. And we've, we've seen throughout this tournament, this sixth game, a three all or four two serving. The last game before the ball change is always particularly difficult. It was quite heavy. Daniel, yeah. you, I know you played today on centre court. Did you find those balls fluffing up? Well, yes. And in our case, we have the option of not asking for the new balls <laughs> because the difference is just so big. But yeah, they do tend to flap up big time. 30 left. I just think her ball toss is perfection. Yep. It barely moves an inch. Makes it for the returner so difficult to read where she's going to serve. <laughs> Similar to Serena, as far as the accuracy, always in the same spot. And I think if you slow down the ball toss when it's in the air, the ball's not rotating a lot. You can almost read the stamp of the sponsor on the way up. Game oh, that's just beautiful Rubles serving from the Wimbledon, Wimbledon champion. He might join the match too. Big tennis fan. He's often yeah. with at Roger Federer's yeah. events and other ones around the globe. Fifteen love. It's a shot Rybakina does not like to hit. She's pushed to the forehand, up the line. Very uncomfortable for her. Another big return 15 from Rebecca. Look at that difference on the second serve return speed. Extra 10Ks coming down at your feet. Really hard to recover. And the problem for Vika is she's not comfortable hitting that slice that much. To Rebecca, forehand nor body. She likes this down the line one. She, she has all the time in the world to prepare well for it. That's when she steps in and... It's a yeah. shot she's, she's improved big time the last couple of months. Yeah, absolutely. Depth is so important tonight. We feel for Azarenka has to play with more shape, better depth than that. Otherwise, it'll be trouble. And again. She has got better as this first set has progressed, and that is two break points. How can you read that? The majority of tonight she's gone back cross court with that short backhand. Yeah, because of the beautiful shoulder turn, she can go any direction she wants. It's hard to believe that Rebaikina has only 13, won three titles 14. in her career. Wimbledon being the biggest of all, and just two others, it seems, for a player of her ability. I think down the track when she's finished, there'll be a lot more titles next to her name. Absolutely. I think she got also a little bit unlucky because when she made those four or five finals before COVID hit, Jesus. that's where she was starting to really peak and play her best tennis. And then we had a break. So I think if that didn't happen, she would have had already many more titles behind her name.
Let's... Second turn. Too good. No advantage. Incredible hitting from both girls, actually. This forehand on the run from Vika was fantastic, but just not good enough against Rybakina. She's just so calm whenever she has a short ball and has to step in. There's no doubt she's not going to make the shot. Gets the final break. Elena Rabakina will have a chance to close out this Rabakina first set. And Jill, you just get the feeling just gone through a gear change for Rabakina and just starting to crank it up a little bit. You know, it's just impressive the ball striking out here, the pace of the shot, and not much ball clearance over the net from either player. I would say Azarenka has a little bit more, but Rabakina is definitely just shooting through the court, has a lot more pace. And I, I feel like Rabakina's approach to the ball, especially the forehand, she's always good on the back end, but the forehand has just, it's really up to notch. Oh. Fold. Pressure from Vika. Love 13. around the net as well. It's just the first chance she's had on the second serve on a Love 15 point. So classy. Under a lot of pressure, trying to close out a first set, but to have the nice 15, soft hands to execute. Wow. Yeah, she has come up with some big ones throughout the tournament. Excellent touch, not only the sheer power of Bakina. I don't know about you, but I feel like she can improve that area of her game so much. And I, I still don't feel comfortable when she comes forward. But it is already <laughs> good enough. Fold. Oh, it's just such confident ball striking. So it looks so That's easy. Cool. Yeah, it's been a couple times where Azarenka has returned through this middle third of the court and Ribakina goes around for the inside in forehand. Yeah, 
Yeah, she does a great job of creating that space, even though she's got these long arms to 14, run 30. around her forehand enough so that she can really swing through. 35 minutes, and it is the 20-second seed, Rabakina, with set point. Yep, and the placement of Deuce. Well. Gvika was already on the run before she even hit that volley. Either go shorter or up the line behind her. Azarenka. She needs first serve here, big time. that we saw at Wimbledon final. Like that's a big point, and it seems like it's the first point of the match, the way she handles it. Big point, second serve, and yet third ball of the rally. She goes so big on it that you just have no chance. Fold. As a ring. Nicely done. Going the back behind works so well against Rebecca. She likes to stay in that one position and she's not that comfortable when she has to drop into that forehand slice off the outside leg. She tries to close it out and has a rank. Love 15. Well, she did go for the slice. It's definitely the serve she feels most uncomfortable with, Vika.
30-15. Back into back in contest, up the line. Who's the win winner there? I'd go Azarenka. Really? It's a close one, huh? I think as far as technique, Rebecca, as far as precision, Azarenka. Such a great fight back from the former Australian Open champ, five Victoria Azarenka, six. levels his first set at five all. You just wouldn't have thought a few minutes ago with Elena serving for the first set that she was ever going to drop that, but it just shows that there's still perhaps some nerves in play. A first serve percentage significantly dropped in that game. So her footwork, I feel like she's lost a little bit of intensity as well. We kind of think she's too cool for school <laughs> because she doesn't give us much, but really, yep. you're inhuman if you're not feeling it out there. when Vika gets into this Love kind of zone and that ball striking. She goes through games where it feels like she just can't miss a ball. And that, that was a predictable point off Elena's forehand side as well, just not getting enough, enough depth and Vika sitting in that corner knowing most likely it's coming cross court. Laura when Rebecca cannot 13. find a first serve. It's, it just enables Azarenka to get up on that baseline and dictate. Yeah, she's down at 52% first serve percentage, but what I'd be looking at if I was a coach is the 33% second serve points won, five out of 15. Let's first serve. Where's that come from? Yeah, the ball happened. toss is starting to go over the head. Yeah, it happened pretty quickly. Stefano Vukov, coach of Elena, with some words of wisdom. But normally you would expect a little bit more support. <laughs> a bit more positive energy. <laughs> yeah. Fold. serve is so key for her game. Awesome. She can afford to take a bit of pace off and just get the numbers up a bit more. She's only lost three points 
off that first serve tonight. It's a good change up at the line from Elena because Vika was pretending the attack Three, for his court. <laughs> Big time. Struggling yes. on serve because Azarenka is just piling on the pressure on this, the return and how early she's taking it. Yeah, definitely is that constant pressure from Vika. Also starting to get a little bit more windy, especially where Elena is at the moment. That's the more windy side, I would say, during night sessions. As Nova Novak was trying to explain last night. Let's yeah. first serve. Seen the body serve Advantage used Ribakina. some time, and you're right, Laura. Just took a bit of pace off 168. So smart serving. How does this come back from Love 40? Oh, excellent serving. Steadies the ship. Rubakina leads six games to five Elena, first set. With the lead, six five, first set. Huge crowds, all championships here, all tournament. But it's Victoria Azarenka serving to stay in the first set. Painted the line. 15 -0. Talking about taking of the speed on the serve, that was 116 first yeah. serve. Just shows, I think, how windy it's starting to get on this side where Vika is serving from. It always looks less windy for some reason than what it is. Stunning movement from the 24th seed, and this first set Six will be decided in a tiebreak. Tie well, courtside, Jill, we're talking about the wind. How is it? 
Yeah, I, to me, I don't really feel like the conditions have changed that much. It's a, a little bit of a breeze, maybe slightly more than when the match started, but nothing that I feel like would affect the play that much with the way the, these two women are hitting with such pace. I mean, they're striking the ball so well, but not necessarily a huge factor, in my opinion, as far as the wind you. picking up. It's been about the same for the entire first set so far. Yeah. One, zero, Elena can serve well. This tie break is on her racket. Let's pursue. change up there to something big has done so beautifully throughout this tournament higher balls just give a different look to ribakina it's the new variety we haven't seen in vika's game <laughs> team alina stefano vukov the coach feel like Elena was going to run away with that. Azarenka just clinging on as she has done so well this entire tournament. Zarenka there, I'm always giving her the down-the-line forehand. I'll just sit in that yep. corner. Exactly, just don't bother to recover the middle. Unless you're dropping it short. Yep, then you've got to run. Almost every ball mm. has gone back cross. Pressure here. And she knows the importance of it. Got to feel a little bit here for Vika because she's worked so hard in this first set to be at this stage. Doesn't want to give anything away for free. Well, it's not really for free because of that constant pressure on Elena's return. She knows she needs to. First serves big time. Yeah. Five, two, Rivakin. 
trouble for Azarenka. An opportunity here to close out the first set with two serves to come, 5-2 lead. She went a little shorter with that last forehand landing inside the service box, but extra bit of side spin on the ball, taking the width or keeping it in play. Also hot, probably she took it on the rise. Couldn't get a free point on serve. Oh, she's really having a bit of a convo with her <laughs> coach on the side here, Elena. Let's visit. Second serve was a little tight. Well, she was clearly on an, an old tie break. Azarenka's tried to slow the serve down to make sure she makes that first serve, but that brings up two set points for our 22nd seed. the first set seven games to six. one hour and one minute seven games to six it looks like Elena's going to leave the court a bit of a comfort break and I like that reaction to her coach after one of the last mm. Any seat for now, thank you. Big swing in wind, wind predictor and the wind. 84%, so fortune favoring Elena right about now. Yeah. Love the beginning of this second set is huge for Vika. Get the momentum back on her side. Fifteen. <laughs> Oh! 
15, 30. He has to find Vika in the second set how to open up the court more with her beautiful back and cross court so that she has Rybakina on the run on the forehand side. change up that we saw a few slice backhands but if you don't get that right you're in trouble Elena with a break point first game second set just come in a little bit further, close down the net. Deuce. Azarenka wouldn't have found it so easy to pick a side with that cross-court oh. passing shot, but incredible movement from Vika. But also to me, there was more of an up-the-line approach from Elena. play all night. Her advantage as a ranking. She's winning that 90% of the time. And Elena's been working a lot in the off season on positioning around the ball when she's pushed wide, but you still feel like she doesn't want to stay in the rally. Oh. Okay. As always, all tournament, Azarenka has competed so well and gets out of trouble. So much work physically as a ranker, she has worked so hard all tournament. As we take a look at the physical battle, the high intensity changes, they're exactly the same. Player average at 13, so Elena working harder than usual, as is as a ranker. And the total distance, well, that's a bit surprising for me. I, I would have thought, mm -hmm. I would have thought as a ranker's yeah, had same here. covered more ground. We know she has in the Total distance of the tournament, but just in this match, so good numbers for both players. What a pretty picture it is. Melbourne at its finest. Yeah. I was reading an interview earlier 15. this tournament with um, Elena's coach, and I've just reread it just the bit I was interested in because I was thinking something doesn't seem right and he was asked how do you communicate during the match what does Elena need from you and he said energy definitely energy she's very stoic and calm keeps the motions inside so that's what he's been trying to do all throughout the tournament I'm not sure what type of energy <laughs> he's thinking he's being extreme specific levels. about <laughs> I mean, you would expect from a coach only positive energy, right? That's what kind of... He didn't, he didn't, he wasn't specific on what type of energy. <laughs> Eight days.
Stefano Vukov, coach of Elena, with the positive energy. <laughs> <laughs> We're loving it. I'm not sure we've got the same definitions of positive energy. There's no way I would just, I would not look at my team <laughs> with that kind of attitude. Oh, excellent <laughs> serving. Sending down aces, ninth ace for the 22nd one all, seed, one all, second set. Well, it's just on 9pm, so conditions typically around this time as the sun goes down, a bit of heat goes out of the court, just tends to slow down a fraction. Was more of a positive talk there. Only took a screaming backhand return winner. <laughs> Something in terms of oh, that's that's okay. Shot like that. Love thirty. She needs big first serve here, Mika. Couple of games. New ball 20 seconds ball seed in control. 7 6, and now with a break 2 1. Bikina leads two games to one second set. Put the pressure on Elena's forehand side, and I think there's a, a very clear tactical plan that she can try and commit to. It's just whether Elena's just going to outplay her off the serve, but if she can take a couple looking look at a second serve. She is for sure in this one. Please find a seat quickly, thank you. Players are waiting. doubles in Adelaide, made the finals 15, last yeah. week in the lead-in event, played here at the Australian Open, and I think there's a, a definite plan from her team for her to be able to push forward and just get better at this. Yeah, 100%, and the doubles, mixed doubles, that can only help her big time, because there's nothing like making those volleys when it counts in matches. 
can practice it f as much as you want, 15. but it's so different to do it on a match court, and you just learn that much quicker when you play some doubles, so that is always a good idea. If you're healthy, why not? Of the time, Vika would go across, but when someone as tall as Elena is, it's good play to go behind her. So hard to stop those long legs. Yeah. Oh, that was half a chance, wasn't it? 14, Trying to do the right thing. I just love Vika's attitude throughout the tournament. You know, it's been so positive. She's on a mission. Doesn't get too frustrated. Hasn't always been the case for no, her, though. No, exactly. That's why. Very impressive. Oh, that would feel sweet. 7 6 3 1 lead. Rebecca needs three games to one. That feels like a quite a big lead in this match. We haven't, it's been so tight. <laughs> <laughs> I told you so. <laughs> That's how you should serve. <sighs> I'm just going to love those reactions. Well, both players converting early leads. Elena doing it a little better at 76%. Going back to Vika's attitude throughout her career, she's been through stages yeah. where she's been quite positive when she's been winning slams, but then she also could be very emotionally up and down. So it's nice to see her on this positive wipe throughout the tournament, though she's set up and break down. Going back to those numbers that we just saw, 94% returns made from all. Elena tonight. And I think we talk non-stop about her serve, don't we? But such an underrated part of her game, this one. The ability to make balls in court, keep the pressure on. Hard to serve to as well, with just such mm. a, a big wing span. Hard to get it out of that strike zone. Fold. I'd love to see more body serves from Vika. I haven't seen that many tonight. I'm feeling this is a crucial stage of the match here for Azarenka. Has to find something. And the trouble with Vika's second serve, even though there was a body serve, she doesn't really have that quick slice. So it's more of a slight kick to Rybakina, which is not going to cause her too many troubles. It's a really tough shot to go for. 
losing a little bit of the footwork intensity in this couple of games. A couple of break points. Is it finally, Laura, the self-belief, is it finally evaporating? It's been so strong all tournament. Oh, no. Still there. It's not going to go until they shake hands. No matter what the scoreline is, Azarenka is going to compete. To hit her least favorite shot Deuce. got a little tight so tall on the shot yeah she didn't get down too much well probably it's the nerves that had a lot to do with missing that shot she knows that was that point was huge it was like a little match point Advantage as a ranker. Just feel the competitiveness and the fighter because this match still has a long way to go. <laughs> Feels like it. Deuce. I'm just missing half step on a couple of these last few beckons. Oh, great movement up to the ball. Found a way to no still get that one as a topspin shot. From well underneath the net. Yeah, nothing wrong with the footwork there. Such a fight up. Game. Saves two break points. No different tonight. It's jam packed. Shot so early, Lena, and there's a couple 15, of forehands in that yeah. point where she took some pace off, maybe just feeling that she's under pressure on that side, wanting to make a couple more balls. Love. It's the first time really with a little bit of negativity from Vika, but it's understandable. She's worked so hard to hold her serve in the previous game. I just want to give this one away this easily. Yeah. 
Yeah. And that's a, a comfortable hold, but the, it's such a suffocating game style that Elena plays. There's, there's no free points, there's nowhere to go. It's a, not a lot of weakness. That's why there's so much pressure on Vika because as soon as she drops the intensity a little bit, Elena is right there on top of her. Well, all of you are mentioning uh, Vika's attitude. It has been so good in her previous service game. She was chattering away quite a bit to herself, so she did a great effort to be able to hold that. But I do feel like Rabakina has put a little extra pace on her serve. She's getting more for serves in the court, so that's just adding some pressure. Yeah, that's a good change up there from Vika going early up the line. Just try to question Elena's forehand a little bit more here in this game. Perhaps she's a little unsure on where to place the second serve. There's been a couple where she's tried to go for a bit more body, but Danny, as you were saying earlier, just doesn't have that fast slice that can really get moving through the court. She does have a good slice on the her first serve, but on the second serve, because she slows her head, racket head quite a lot, she just does not have that option, really. So she knows she should be going more to the body of Elena or the forehand side. It's just she finds it tricky to be able to come up with a serve like that. Same forehand. I mean, that, this was a harder shot and uncomfortable trying to execute it. It's definitely getting tight on that side. She left it. 30, 14. She thought it was going long. Well, we could, should just sit in that forehand corner now because 90% of Elena's forehands will go that way. She just is not comfortable right now going up the line. Well wide, serving with new balls. Thank you. Players are ready. Chance for Elena to move into the Thank final you. of the Australian Open. Love, 15. She should stay in that cross court to cross court. Love 400 rally Vika Putin. now, all day long. Elena is definitely getting more and more tight with that shot. Well, she's aware that she's going cross court a lot, and then when she tries to mix up line, because she rarely plays it in a normal match, just not consistent. Ninety 
percent of Vika's shots right now. 13. He should be going to Elena's forehand. Keep questioning it. Trying to jog it out, jump it out. Way to get the nerves out, just a bomber serve T. 30 14. Such a huge advantage to have when you're a little bit tight, you don't want to really play long rallies, you have that one big weapon. First one, all match from Azarenka. Steps in, gets one break back. Rubikina leads five games to three. Well, much like the first set, you kind of don't expect Elena to give you anything in those moments. You know, she's usually so in control of her emotions, but this is such a huge match. Good response there. It's almost easier to yeah. bring to win 15. sometimes, isn't yeah. it, when you're feeling like that? to go to Elena's forehand with the serve 119 that's not gonna hurt her. Yeah, well, just the serve has just the second serve in particular has let Azarenka down a little tonight, and that is triple match point. Thank you. Please. Second seed, Elena Rabaikina, is through to the Australian Open final. Straight sets winner tonight, 7-6, 6-3. Well, the scary part is you feel that Elena can play a lot better than that. And uh, wasn't at her best, didn't have her greatest serving day, but she just plays those big points 
incredibly well under pressure, coming up with something, and she showed some nerves and still managed to get through it in straight sets. Vika Azarenka has had an unbelievable tournament, though, so much to be proud of after the last...